Hello guys and welcome to the third video about enterprise integration patterns. Today we're going to talk about content-based router. But before we start I would like to ask you to subscribe to this channel. Also in the description you can find a couple of Amazon affiliate links and buy me a coffee link where you can support my work if, if you really want to. There is also a GitHub repo link where you can find all examples I showed in the previous videos. And this one, of course. So, let's start. If you take a closer look at the picture, you will see that we have a use case where we have multiple inventories and a single message channel. We want to route message correctly based on the type of message that we received. How can we achieve this? Content-based router is a solution. In this simple example, we have an order that came, but we want to check correct inventory first to see if those items are available for shipment. We need to create a route which will check for every message type and route it accordingly. Now let's check a camel example. Okay, here we are. So here is the actual uh, content-based router route. So we have uh, one route where we have choice when header is uh, of when header type is of uh, value widget then we'll uh, we will route to the mock widget when it's gadget we'll route to the mock gadget and then if none of these are true we will mock to other so if we get a message of type uh, widget, we will check widget inventory, gadget, gadget inventory, and in any other case, we will go to the something else, whatever that is. So I created a couple of tests here just to show you that it actually works. So here we have the first use case where I uh, set header uh, type to be widget and then send a message to the content-based router. We'll see in this assert mock endpoints that I set widget number to be one. So we expect one message in mock widget. In second case, we have gadget number to be one and set gadget. And in third case, we have other number to be for this other value. So when we run tests, Okay, we see that all of three tests have has passed and that widget is satisfied other and gadget is satisfied per route. So yeah, per test, sorry. So that would be it. This is pretty simple enterprise integration pattern. Uh, I will try to cover up a little more complex ones in the future videos. So yeah, thanks for watching again. Bye bye.